Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. I know the video is meant to be out earlier, but I had work. So, since things are falling into place kind of nicely for me, let's talk about the brand new gacha for Cheryl and, of course, the one that if you guys have noticed by now when you've loaded the game because it's a brand new day in Japan and you see this particular banner here you know that there is an exclusive gacha that you can only take part in if you purchase the singing stone pack within the singing stone store so let's take a look at this store and see how much it costs to obtain that ticket so immediately you can see it costs 3000 yen or basically um 30 us dollars and this special set is only available for two days before it disappears completely so you are buying a pack of 500 singing stones all right, that gives you 250 summer spheres, which is pretty important if you want to purchase um, some of the exclusive decor items within the summer sphere exchange store, or sometimes maybe you want to keep it for the month end, or I don't know, maybe because summer is um, still ongoing and you know the summer spheres can be used to purchase those um, radars used for the um, red boss events and all that kind of stuff so sometimes you might want to take note of how long the summer spheres have before they expire um, just in case you want to make full use of them um, in the most budget way as possible so yeah so th buying this 300 yen sorry not 300 yen 3000 yen pack will grant you 500 singing stones plus 250 summer stones uh, spheres and of course that one ticket that lets you draw that guaranteed five star gacha all right so i'm going to purchase this for myself because i still have leftover yen and of course we're gonna do that pool as well all right so i've purchased the singing stone pack and immediately you can see the singing stones have been added to my quantity and of course straight away let's go dive into the gacha page uh i think i pressed the wrong tab i I think I pressed the mission one instead of the gacha. Okay, that's my bad anyway. <laughs> Let's move into the gacha tab and take a look at Cheryl's new episode plate along with the ones that are available in the guaranteed 5 star uh, gacha itself to see whether the plates are actually worthwhile your money uh, before you decide um, to purchase the singing stone packs if you are capable of doing so. Alright, so let's talk about Cheryl's gacha first because that's the main topic of today unless you are here uh, or you're rather more interested to hear about the guaranteed 5 star episode plate gacha. Uh, oh well, so anyways, let's take a look at Cheryl's plate. 3604 total score um, while balancing around focusing more on voice. So uh, as we've seen in the last few events, the episode plates for each event is starting to get better and better and we are we are really diving into a whole new tier of Uta Macross where most of the episode plates are now at least an uh, average of total 3600 points which is fantastic but also a very scary times um, for older players because we've spent most of our singing stones on older plates that are not as powerful as the ones that are currently around and so newer Uta Macross players will definitely be able to um, surpass us because they are capable of pulling out these more powerful episode plates because they have a whole bunch of singing stones that are at their arsenal because they just started the game so yeah so take a look at the four divas equip equipable with this episode plate surprisingly enough Ranka is alongside with Cheryl to be able to use this plate so pretty surprising there um center skill all right so as you can see they they have that chinese or rather the kanji word for star so star plate up and of course all the star plates um total will be increased by 60 percent up so fantastic center skill um meant to be used for high score achieving and of course let's take a look to see whether the active skill is also that high score achieving active skill that we all so know so well and love uh, so immediately, yep, it's the same one. So 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Immediately, we can tell straight away this split of Cheryl's is meant to be used to achieve high score. Pretty much similar to Kaname's episode plate that we just recently had um, for the Red Boss event. 
All right, the life skill, however, S rank, life, when it drops below 40%, you will recover 25% of your HP. So pretty, in, uh, pretty useful life skill in terms of maybe clearing missions and all that, because sometimes you have those annoying missions where you need to clear the song with a certain amount of percentage of HP. And yes, this is where Cheryl's episode plate comes into play and it's all useful life skill support. Alright, so let's take a look at the special notes. So sadly to say, no special notes attached to Cheryl's episode plate. If it did have a special note attached to it, this plate would have been way, way on top of your must-have list. But sadly to say, it doesn't. So you can say it's still somewhere between, I would rather rank it right now as the new top tier 2. Because top tier 1 will definitely be a plate like this, but with a special note attached to it. So uh, I'm just giving this a personal rating of tier 2 for my own gauge. Because it's definitely within the top tier listing of episode plates available right now in this game. So alright, so immediately we can tell that Sheros is definitely going to be useful. But however, we do know the next gacha is going to be Rankas. And I don't know whether Ranka's episode plate is going to be as useful as Cheryl's because, well, if Cheryl's is actually an active ac uh, episode plate meant to be used as a center position, we can expect maybe Cheryl, uh, or, or, sorry, maybe Ranka's episode plate is going to be a support episode plate. So, but we have been proven wrong before, um, where both gachas, um, both the initial starting event gacha and of course the secondary gacha ends up being both center episode plates. So I don't know. Let's take a look and see how in the next few days once Ranka's gacha um, surfaces into the game itself. Alright, so I'm gonna do one single template pool for Cheryl because I'm definitely trying to save up more um, singing stones for Ranka because she is my waifu after all. So let's do this one single template pool for Cheryl Gnome. And of course, hopefully enough, I will be able to get at least half the amount of costume points needed to unlock her costume because dang, we are getting another Valkyrie from the current event instead of costume points for Cheryl. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, one, two, three. So no golden orb, no four, five planes. So hopefully the luck is still mediocre. We have been having pretty terrible luck in the last few gachas. We do get red, 3 red boxes, so that's not too bad. There's still a high chance for one of them to at least evolve into a 5 star. So let's see, do we get evolution? Yes, we do! Kaname blesses us with a rainbow box! And okay, it's not a new Cheryl Gnome plate, but it's still a Cheryl Gnome plate, even though it's an old one. I think I don't have this evolve, so maybe um, that's not too bad of a thing. Machina comes out as well so that's not too bad because i have quite a bit of luck on her this current episode play as well so let's move on see what the last red box grants us and hopefully something decent along the luck line oh we do get more episode plays that are exclusive for this gacha so more points towards cheryl's costume that's not too bad and oh we do get a rare macross 7 episode play so that's not too bad Alright, so let's see, do we evolve that Cheryl episode plate? And here we go, we do get an evolution. Oh, it's for the shooty star song. Okay, that's surprising. Okay, so um, it's pretty nice to see that I have a fully evolved 5 star episode plate already. And of course, Makina's episode plate goes into plus 13 luck. Um, not too bad, we do get costume points for Cheryl's costume, but it's definitely not enough to unlock the costume. So it's gonna take some future gacha pools to <laughs> eventually unlock the costume and hopefully maybe we can get those free episode plates from um, the songs that we play in the future i guess that give costume points to her costume because it's going to be a pain in the ass to unlock everything uh, especially when money is involved all right so let's enough blabber about cheryl let's talk about this current guaranteed 5 star episode plates as you can see they show you the 6 episode plates that you can actually pull out from this gacha of course the one I really want is this one because it is an exclusive um, event episode plate um, and of course you know because it has 
the most fantastic artwork although I don't know maybe the rest might be a bit useful in terms of skills and all that kind of stuff so let's take a look at each of them individually and of course we'll do this as quickly as possible 3310 focusing on voice of course four divas equipable with the plate not a fantastic center skill so not meant to be used as a center position plate but rather a live skill support so recovery of 30 percent um, active skill at the 48 second mark for 16 seconds you reduce 20 hp every time uh, then of course you got your 100 percent boost in score because it's a score and damage skill so basara's plate isn't looking too bad as a life support skill plate so pretty decent plate sadly to say no special notes attached to it so Basara's plate is definitely one to look out for if you actually obtain it. How about Mikumo? 3222, focusing on voice. So most of them are focusing on voice. Um, center skill S rank. Alright, so units life and support is boosted by 20% up. Not the best center skill out there, but okay. Life recovery of 30. So definitely Mikumo is looking um, in terms of a poorer quality of episode plate compared to Basara's. Alright, so score repeat. So this episode play is meant to be used for long duration songs. I won't repeat what the skills are. We've already heard of this many times. And woo, it does come with a special note attached, a recovery note. Um, so yeah, I guess Mikumo's play is meant to be used for high score achieving in terms of life skill support. At the same time, you can expect life recovery alongside it. So I guess Mikumo's play is kind of better than Basara's because of that one special note so I guess Mikumo is now higher than Basara's okay so let's move on check out the other few alright this belongs to Milane I guess or Basara whichever because both of them can be used on the on the divas alright so S skill unit so boosted by 90% up so this episode plate has the best center skill so far and of course, 3,327 focusing on Soul. So this is the only uh, only episode plate we've seen so far that has boosted Soul. And of course, the center skill, or rather active skill that boosts high score. So this plate is definitely looking way better than uh, Mikumo's plate already. So I don't know. Hopefully we get it, I guess. But I do want that uh, Mesa and Keith episode plate though. So um, alright, so life skill support. At the 35 second mark for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So pretty decent life skill, but we are using this plate more towards high score achieving purposes. Alright, so oh, it has a special note. Okay, immediately this is definitely one of the best plates you can actually get from this gacha. So if you do get this episode plate, if you are planning to pull this um, guaranteed 5 star gacha, um, you will definitely want to aim for this because it does have a special note and it has fantastic skills alongside it so definitely the plate to look up for all right moving on we have makina 3345 focusing on charm for divas and of course an s center skill but looking at the percentage is not that fantastic because it's a dual combination so units voice and charm is boosted by 45 percent up so it's pretty decent definitely not the best compared to the one we just saw but i will still say it's definitely higher than the uh, basara solo and mikumo solo episode plates and of course center skill I mean, sorry, active skill. Active skill is meant to be used for high score purposes as well. Live skill, at the 50 second mark for trial seconds, you will have an easier time tapping your notes. So pretty decent live skill in terms of practice use. Uh, and of course, it's also useful in terms of high score achieving, but not the best out there because it is a dual status boost um, center skill. And no special notes attached to this episode plate so immediately Makina is definitely in number two placing followed by um by Mikumo and of course by Basara all right so let's move on to the last one which is the all exclusive episode plate that can be used by everyone <laughs> so no special notes attached to it sadly to say 3304 not the best stats out among the six I guess so so up um 60% boost in so sadly it is not an S rank so center skill active skill I keep saying center skill what's with me today anyway for 12 seconds your combos do not break for the 
uh, life skills, score and damage, we know the drill, we know how it works, let's move on. So sadly to say, even though I won this episode bad, uh, episode played badly mainly because of the illustration on the the, the on the episode plate itself, and of course the fact that it can be used on anyone, um, this, this is definitely one of the main focus. And of course, if you want to see what kind of points it goes to the costume or, or Valkyrie is for, you just click on the magnifying glass icon and you can immediately tell which costume it goes to. So yeah, um, okay, so I think we've, oh, we've, we've got a few more. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Wow, do I want to explain all of them? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Alright, so the next Basara one, we do know this is one of Basara's better episode plates, but let's compare to the one that we've seen already. 3231, not the best out there, focusing on well, well balanced stats all around. Center skill, S rank, star, element songs, units total is boosted by 35% up. So immediately, the center skill is definitely not the best out there. It's definitely losing out to the other Basara plate that we saw. So that's kind of a bummer. For 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Not the best life skill because it's an A rank. Well, at the 75 second mark, for 10 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So immediately, this is not in the top tier list. But it is definitely a useful episode plate itself. No special notes attached to it. Alright, so moving on, we will not count this as top 5 because this is definitely below top 5. Alright, moving on. Gumlin, we have no need to say it is a very old plate. It's only useful if you're going to get Gumlin's um, Valkyrie. If not, other than that, this plate is not meant to be used at all. So moving on, um, we will not explain because this is taking too much time. Mikumo, we have another Mikumo plate. 3300 score, focusing on charm. Alright, and a bit on voice. Center skill S rank, voice and charm up level 5. So units voice and charm is boosted by 45%. So immediately it's around the, the, the grade of the Makina episode plate we've seen. Alright, so active skill, sadly to say, it is not a 100% boost in score. So immediately it is lousier than Makina's episode plate. So definitely a plate you do not want to take note of. Um, and of course, since most of the criteria do not meet in terms of high tier plates, we will not bother with the life skill because this plate is definitely old and not meant to be used for high score achieving purposes already in terms of this generation of time across that we are currently playing in. So no special notes attached to it, this makes, this, makes, uh, this episode plate even more trash. Uh, it's definitely not meant to be used anymore in terms of this current generation. Alright, so moving on, let's look, take a look at Reyna's 3,499 total score, not too bad, focusing on Soul and Charm. So it's got a bit of a balance there. Uh, sadly to say, the center skill is not an S rank, so its units total boosted by 20% up. So immediately, the center skill is trash. Active skill for 15 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So not meant to be used as a center episode plate. But let's take a look at the live skill S rank combo A and score A level 5. At the 55 second mark for 10 seconds, your combos do not break. And of course, for 12 seconds, your score is boosted by 50% up. So it's pretty useful in terms of life skill because it does help you retain that combo streak. And at the same time, it boosts your score, although 50% up isn't exactly a very big boost. But with a total score like that, um, Reyna's episode plate is definitely somewhere in the par of Makina's other better episode plate. Um, so yeah, and sadly to say, no special notes attached to this episode plate as well. So are we done? No, we are not. Are we? Okay, we are almost done. This is the last episode plate. <laughs> 3,326, focusing on charm, a bit on voice, and center skill A rank. So immediately, this plate is kind of trashy. So let's not bother reading the skills because it is not meant to be used as an active or center skill episode plate. And of course, let's take a look at the life skill because that's what S ranks is all about. Um, at the 32 second mark for 14 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. So immediately, this is meant to be used for a short duration song because score up. And yeah, so immediately we can tell that this episode played because it has no special notes attached to it. It is decent, but still... Um, it's definitely higher than the Mikumo plate that we saw that was really trashy. So 
um, in terms of worst episode played the pool, it would definitely be this Mikumo episode played. <laughs> Anything else is pretty decent. Of course, the best plate to be able to pull out in terms of skills and stats would be this one. So if you do say this episode plate with, you know, the tribute to, um, do you remember Love, Milin and Basara's Macross Seven version, um, this is the definitely best episode plate you can pull from this current five star guaranteed gacha episode, uh, gacha itself. So. Yeah, uh, anyway guys, let's do this. I'm going to do one single pool because that's all they can allow us to do. And hopefully, I get this episode played. If not, it's the Messer and Keith one because I really want the illustration for that episode played itself. Alright, here we go guys. The only one 5 star guaranteed pool. Okay, so any day we'll get all the planes and the golden orbs so because it's guaranteed. So not much excitement there. The only excitement is which episode plate will come out. And here we go. Oh, we do get the Makina one. So that's not too bad. Makina's episode plate is pretty decent. It's in the mid-tier range of the entire list. So I'm pretty happy. And it's definitely a brand new episode plate for me. So not too bad. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. So guys, if you guys are um, thinking about pulling this 5-star guaranteed gacha, please make sure that you are capable of purchasing the singing stone packs and of course reconsider the plates that we just gone through which ones are the ones that you really really want and of course out of how many of them do you not want count your odds weigh your odds right and of course make sure your money is worthwhile if not please 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 um don't bother trying i guess unless you want the you know, just the guaranteed pool plus a cheap way of getting your singing stones and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me blab for a very long good while. And of course, hopefully you guys had better luck than I did with Cheryl's Gacha or maybe even better luck with the guaranteed 5 star episode plate pool. And of course, once again, do let me know if you like all the information I shared with you guys tonight, although I did fumble a bit because I'm trying to rush through it and it's getting late. I just came back home from work. I'm tired. I want to sleep and I still have another video to make in the morning. So guys, let me know by hitting the like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. Share the video to your friends who are interested to play Utah Cross, And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Cross video. Until then, bye!